Yo, what's up guys? Um, just want to make a follow-up video. I made another video, uh, GoPro Hero 2 versus GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition, which kind of like talked about, you know, the benefits of each camera. And I gave my opinion about why or why you should not buy the Hero 3. I found out some information about the Hero 3 from looking around the internet, but I've come to find more info about the Hero 3 from you know looking even deeper because honestly that video got kind of a negative reaction people were upset um, I guess that's a fair thing to say is that I kind of didn't give the Hero 3 a fair enough chance um, as I said in the last video it's a uh, smaller lighter I mean I don't really see the benefit of this but I mean it, I guess it could come in handy uh, it's also twice as powerful um, 60 frames per second instead of 30 um, which could make makes better picture. I've seen there's actually been a couple people who have been able to get their hands on one and uh, I'll put some of those down in the description of uh, little comparison videos between the Hero 2 and Hero 3. Another feature of the Hero 3 that is nice is you can mount the camera this time without having that plastic housing. One of the best features I think is the built-in Wi-Fi up to 600 feet. That, that'll really come in handy because if you've ever worked with an action cam you know there's probably a good uh, four-fifths of the footage isn't usable and you just have to throw it away it's a waste of battery it's a waste of time it's a waste of space so that'll really come into handy and going back to the plastic housing um, the new GoPro is supposed to have an updated sound uh, microphone and sound system which is really important to something along the lines of what I do because um, you know the motor sounds, engine sounds, exhaust notes are kind of like a big part of the video. Um, and if you've ever worked with a GoPro, you know that the sound quality is not that great. Now, if I were to get a camera, a new GoPro, I would definitely get the Black Edition because, I mean, it has the most benefits of all the cameras. Um, and I'm just kind of a go big or go home. If you're going to get something, just get the best thing because you're going to want the extra features anyway. The difference between the black down to the silver, the silver is the middle one. Um, the black can shoot in 60 frames per second in 1080p, whereas the silver can't. Um, black also has a higher frame per second rate as opposed to the silver in 720 and, uh, and lower. The only one that comes with the remote is the black edition. Um, Again, all this information can be found on GoPro's website. I'll put a link to the, the, the comparison between the cameras in the description as well. So um, with all that said, I will be doing a comparison video between the Hero 3 Silver Edition probably this week and then the Black Edition mm, when it comes out. So that's the 14th of November. I'm going to get my hands on one of those. I'm probably not going to personally buy it myself, but... I will do an unbiased review, so I will be bringing that to you guys when it comes out. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Put your opinions below. I mean, do you think it's worth buying the Black Edition? I don't think it's worth upgrading from a Hero 2, but maybe you do. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.